Uncle Tom's Cabin. Uncle Tom's Cabin was a novel written by Harriet Beecher Stowe in 1852. Harriet Beecher Stowe lived in Cincinnati, Ohio, and she was she had some experience with uh, runaway slaves. She was able to talk with some of them. In the United States in 1850, uh, they had passed a law known as the Fugitive Slave Law, which said that uh, people in the North had to provide assistance to help uh, return runaway slaves. And so that was part of the reason why Harriet Beecher Stowe wrote her novel. Her novel was a very emotional novel about Uncle Tom, a slave, and Eliza, and Harry, and uh, many other um, slaves. And people in the North who before had not really paid much attention uh, all of a sudden started paying attention to slavery and they they didn't realize that uh, slaves were treated as poorly as they were, at least according to Uncle Tom's cabin. And so it really ignited, um, it just, you know, kind of fired up people in the North. The South, of course, said that it was propaganda. They were very angry with Harriet Beecher Stowe for writing this novel. They said that, you know, we don't treat our slaves like that. This is inaccurate. And so we had two very differing opinions in the North and in the South regarding this novel. And the um, I think part of the uh, appeal of this is it's a very, again, emotional story. You see Eliza there trying to escape. Um, it was a story and people really related to it. Allegedly, uh, when Abraham Lincoln met her many years later, he was alleged to have said, so this is the little lady uh, who started this great war, but I don't think there's much evidence to actually support that. He really said that. So let's just um, listen to just a minute of this of this uh, story. Mrs. Shelby had gone on her visit, and Eliza stood in the veranda, rather dejectedly looking after the retreating carriage, when a hand was laid on her shoulder. Turned, you can see the audio is here. Uh, I'll show you where that is. Oh, is it you? How you frightened me. Well, I am so glad you've come. Miss has gone to spend the afternoon, so come into my little room, and we'll have this time all to ourselves. Saying this, she drew him into a neat uh, you can find uh, the online text for Uncle Tom's Cabin if you want to read it on Moodle. All of the chapters are here. And you are just listening to the audio. You can find the audio of the entire story uh, right here by clicking on that. So again, Harriet Beecher Stowe's uh, novel had a great impact on influencing many, many more people in the North. Um, it wasn't now just the abolitionists. There were many more people that started to agree with the abolitionists. Thank you.